This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater. And it's better than being stuck in the cave from this movie. It's Alive is a sort of cross between a hillbilly horror film and a sci-fi monster movie made back in 1969 and directed by Larry Buchanan. It follows a newlywed couple, Norman and Leela, on a road trip across the country only to lose their way in the Ozarks. A friendly paleontologist offers advice, but it comes to be an unfortunate mistake when the first farm they encounter turns out to be owned by a psychopath whose collection of animals includes a creature of prehistoric origins. Trapped within its home cavern, Norman, Leela, and the paleontologist must now find a way to escape before they become its next meal. That isn't as difficult as it sounds, though, because most of the movie ends up being bickering, small talk, and an unnecessary amount of backstory. Yeah, there's a good reason you probably haven't heard of this movie at all. And it's because there is almost nothing in its favor that makes it worth seeing. I can say right away that the only thing of interest is the fact that they shot the movie in an actual cave, and probably over the course of several weekends, since I have a feeling that the cave was already a tourist attraction. The story at hand is almost just an excuse to film in the cave. With most scenes taking place in one or two locations within it, and the rest at some house just outside. At least it's supposed to be outside of the cave. Could just be some random farm. Anyways, the story has no real effort in its writing whatsoever, setting up how everybody gets into the cave before kind of just meandering for a while. Save for an extended flashback where the psychopath's housekeeper goes into detail about how she came to live there against her will. That might sound like a spoiler, but it's something set up from the beginning, as is just about every other character personality. To put it simply, it's pretty easy to see at the start of the film who gets to escape alive at the end. The only other thing I can say about the movie is that, for whatever reason, it seems to want to include an element surrounding domestic disputes and abuse, and prominently so, to the point that I wonder if these scenes were included either to try and pretend that the movie had deeper themes going on, or if they just needed to pad out the runtime. Somehow my money's on both. Whatever the case, any positives that are in the actual writing are dragged right back down by the actual production. Again, being shot almost entirely in a cave is one way to save money, but it also results in an extremely unimaginative experience that doesn't even give you anything in the background to look at or glance over when the actors have gotten boring. As you might guess, the camera work is limited by the location, and rather than try anything interesting, the movie falls back on wide master shots and a sparse use of close-ups, with minimal editing that just makes the scenes drag on for a while. It's only in the extended flashback that the movie seems to pick up the pace and try something different, but by that point, it's too little too late. Pretty much everything about this movie is the result of wanting to spend as little money as possible, and in the end, they got what they paid for. I don't even know if it's worth bringing up the monster itself, because it's exactly as poorly conceived as everything else in the film. Overall, I think the best way to put it is that this is a movie made almost certainly for the sake of getting people paid with no concern at all for actual quality. It's Alive, Larry Buchanan, 1969. Half a star. I do not recommend seeing this movie at all. If you must, 
have someone with you to either make fun of it or to put you out of your misery later. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Hopefully they won't be about movies set in a cave for a while. I mean, seriously, there's only so much you can actually do within a cave, especially if nothing happens in that cave.